crochet hook, red heart yarn. This is a four ply yarn. What you're gonna do is have your hook, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. You're gonna measure, you're gonna start around the waist area. So you're gonna measure yourself around your waist. That is going to determine how many chain you need. I am going to chain a number of 50. One, and to do a chain, you grab the hook, pull it through, two, three, four. So I'm going to chain a 50 and come I right have back. a chain of 50. Once you have your chain of whatever number you need to go around the waist, and the fourth stitch from the hoop, one, two, three, four, you're going to put a double crochet into the fourth stitch. And to do a double crochet, you simply wrap the yarn around your hook, go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. So what I'm going to do is do one double crochet all the way along my chain here, and I'll be back once I have one double crochet into each stitch across. So I have went all the way across with my double crochets, once you get to the end right here, you're going to chain three. One, two, three. You're going to turn your work around and directly on top of each double crochet because this skirt is done in all double crochets. You're going to put a double crochet on top of each stitch across. Now for my skirt, I went a total of 10 rows down for this example, I'll only be going five rows, but please go 10 rows or uh, as many rows as you need. It depends on what length of the skirt that you want your skirt to be. If you want, your, mine's only comes to the knees, so, and this is for a petite person, so I only went a total of 30 rows, but for this particular, while you're still at your waist, you want to go only 10 rows. For this example, I'm going to go five rows. Every time you get to the end, chain three, turn your work around, and I'll be back once I have... Okay, so I have my five rows completed. You will have a total of 10 rows, okay? I have five just for the example. So there's my five rows. So now we're getting ready. So this is our waist part around our waist. Now, if you're getting ready, we're getting ready to work on the hip. And you know, sometimes the hips are a little bit wider. If it's somebody who's petite, you could just go ahead and go down 30 rows. But if you're doing it for yourself or someone that is hippie like myself, we're getting ready to do a increase. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And to the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets into that same stitch. Cause now we want, we're working on the hip area. So we're going to alternate that. We're going to do one double crochet into the next stitch. And then into the next stitch, we're gonna put two double crochets into that stitch. So I want you to repeat that all the way across. One double crochet. And then the next stitch, two double crochets into the same stitch. So you're gonna repeat this all the way across um, and I'll see you once we get to the end. Okay, so I went all the way across and as you can see, there is a um, width adjustment right here. So it's a little bit wider than my previous rows. So there, that is our increase. So once you get done, when you get to that point right there, you're going to just chain three one, two, three, turn your work around, and you're just gonna repeat what you just did at your bottom row. I got chain three as my first double crochet, and to the next stitch, I'm going to put two double crochets, 
and then in the next stitch one double crochet and this is our increase for the next 10 rows so we get one double crochet two one double crochet two into the next stitch and now we're going to repeat this process for a total of 10 rows mines will only need to be nine rows and this is our hip portion because we want to bring that out so i'm gonna do five rows of this what i'm doing every time you complete go ahead and chain three turn your work around one double crochet two double crochets into the same stitch one double crochet two double crochets into the same stitch for a total of 10 rows i'll be right back Okay, so once you have your 10 rows, remember mine's is not going as long as you guys. Once you have your 10 rows, you see how your waist is up here and your hip part expanded out. Your hip part expanded out. Okay, now we need to bring it back in. Okay, we need to bring it because this is only for our hip portion so we're getting ready to do a double crochet join so once you have your 10 rows you're going to chain three one two three turn your work around and now we're going to go into the next double crochet at the bottom pull through you want to pull through two and stop go into the next stitch grab your yarn you're going to pull through two. You got three on your hoop. Pull through all three. And that is how we're going to do it. So we're going to do double crochet, but do not finish it. Pull through two. Go into the next one. Pull through two. Pull through three. I'll do that one more time. We're going to go into the next stitch. We're going to start the double crochet. We're going to pull through two, stop right there, wrap the yarn, go into the next stitch, pull through. You have a total of four on your hook. Pull through two. Now you have three. Pull through the three. So we're going to repeat that because we bring it, we now bring it in to finish off our last 10 rows. And we're only gonna do this row one time. I'll show it to you one more time. I got two, I stopped, pull through two. Now I have three on the hoop, pull through all three. Now complete that all the way around, I mean all the way down and I'll be right back. Okay everyone, once you have completed your uh, two double crochets together, that should have brought in the hip portion of it. So that just brought it in some, okay? Now all you're gonna do is chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work around. And now we're just gonna put a double crochet directly on top of all of our spaces right here. Okay, so that's my first double crochet. So here's my next space. I'm just gonna put a double crochet directly on top and to each stitch across. Okay, make sure I put my double crochet in the right spot. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. You're gonna put one double crochet and to each uh, across and then you're gonna go down the remaining of your nine rows, I'm gonna to wanna to go down five, but go down nine rows, okay? So that'll be a total of 10 rows and I'll be right back. Okay, so I had to change a color because I ran out of this color right here. So you should have 10 rows for your waist, 10 rows for the width of your hips, and then 10 rows for the bottom part of your skirt. So now um, we're gonna move right along. So I, I finished my five rows. So now I'm going to go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. I'm gonna turn my work to, cause your work is going to be folded in half. Okay, you're gonna fold your skirt in half, just like this. 
So I'm working on my side right here. So I chain three, I'm gonna skip a space and I'm gonna do a single crochet into the next space. Chain three, one, two, three. I'm gonna skip a space and then I'm gonna do a single crochet right into the next space. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip, single crochet. One, two, three, skip, single crochet. Now you can skip one space because this skirt is just for a prototype. You can definitely skip several um, spaces. You can skip two spaces or three spaces and see how that looks. Okay, my yarn got tangled. But for mine, because it's small, I'm just gonna skip one space. One, two, three. I'm going to skip a space, go right into the next space. And once I get back up to, if you have a extra space right here, like I do, I'm just gonna go in there and do a single crochet. So that is my space where my um, chain is gonna go into. Now to get to the other side so I can do the exact same thing, I am just going to do a single crochet. So I'm gonna go into every stitch and I'm just going to put a single crochet around, not too tightly because we don't want it to be, we're not trying to draw up the skirt. So put one single crochet on top of each stitch across. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna go all the way across with a single crochet and I'll be right back. Single crocheted all the way till I got to the other side, which is this side right here. Now I'm just going to chain three, one, two, three. I'm going to skip a space. We are sewing our loose pieces later. I'm gonna skip a space and then I'm going to single crochet into the next. We're doing the exact same thing we did on the other side. Chain three, skip a space, go into the next. One, two, three, skip a space, go into the next. One, two, three, skip and go. So we're doing exactly what we did on the opposite side. One, two, three, skip. And now I'm at my bottom. So now I have these little loops on both sides of my skirt. I'm just gonna go ahead and fasten off. I'm gonna go ahead because that part is done. So now what you do is, here's your skirt. You're just going to fold your skirt in half the long way. You're folding your skirt in half the long way. So there's our skirt. We have a nice brim up here. You can put a border down here. That's for our hip area. So there's the skirt. So now what we're gonna do is make a long chain. Okay guys, I am back. So I made a long chain. Okay, so there's my long chain. If you're doing the complete skirt, you're going to do the chain and I chained 200 for mine. So here's our both top. You can lace this at the front or you can lace this at uh, starting at the bottom. Mines, I lace mines at the top. So I'm just gonna lace mine just like you're lacing a shoestring, up a shoestring or something like that. I'm gonna go into the next one and just lace it up. I got it down here. Now you can definitely put a border. I got it down here and I'm just gonna tie it up as if I was tying a shoestring. Now you don't have to have your tie up as long. I'm just gonna put a, just to cut this end off. I like to double knot it. So I'm just gonna cut that. And let's just cut that off. And so there you have it. There is your beautiful summer skirt with the tie up on the side. This is my sexy skirt that I made that Tiffany, one of my subscribers, has been asking me about. Here you go, 